Car buyers just can't get enough of compact crossovers at the moment, so it was only a matter of time before a host of fire-breathing performance versions arrived in a flare of bright colours and exhaust pops. Mercedes has the GLA 45, Volkswagen the T-Roc R, and Audi the RS Q3. There's always been a space below those for slightly less nutty options too, but since the Nissan Juke Nismo went off sale, there's been a bit of a gap there. But now, there's this. The Ford Puma ST. Now, we're big fans of the standard car at Auto Express, and a big reason for that is because it's the best car to drive in its class. But until now, there hasn't been a version with real claws to show us what this chassis can do, which is why we're very excited to see that ST badge make an appearance. You see, Ford's ST boffins have been on a bit of a roll recently. The latest Focus ST is a truly great all-rounder, offering all the speed, practicality, and thrills you could ever really need. But it does so in an understated way, especially compared to the smaller Fiesta ST, which is a bit of a yob, but all the more brilliant for it. So if you call the Focus a piece of chalk to the Fiesta's lump of cheese, the Puma is set to be, well, also cheesy, but more mature. Under the skin, the Puma ST uses the same 1.5 litre turbocharged petrol engine as the Fiesta, so there's still 197 brake horsepower and 320 newton metres of torque to play with. But it gets a revised exhaust system which makes it one decibel quieter. It rides on the same platform as the Super Mini 2, but it's bigger inside and more practical. The boot measures 456 litres and it keeps the Puma's mega box, a hose down 80 litre bin beneath the boot floor. The Puma ST gets an uprated body styling pack to add an air of menace compared to the regular car. ST specific grills help to improve cooling to the engine, while a front splitter sits on the lower edge of the bumper. A larger rear wing and diffuser help to balance out the extra downforce provided by that front lip, while the ST rides on a set of 19 inch alloy wheels, with one or two finishes to pick from. And then there's the colour. Go for this fantastic shade that Ford calls Mean Green, and you'll never lose your Puma ST in a car park. Whether you choose this, or a more restrained colour, the roof and the spoiler, the front grille surrounds, the side trim and the door mirror caps are always painted black. Anyone who sat inside the Fiesta ST is going to feel right at home here because, well, it looks pretty much exactly the same. The ST details to look out for are a new gear knob, set of pedals, these lovely Recaro seats and a flat bottom steering wheel. And the interesting thing on that are these two red driving mode buttons here. Standard kit is generous, with wireless smartphone charging, a heated windscreen, all-round parking sensors, rain sensing wipers and Ford's SYNC 3 infotainment setup all included. There's also an optional B&O sound system, which if it's anywhere near as good as the Fiesta's, will be pretty much the best on offer from any of the mainstream car brands. The one difference between the Fiesta and the Puma is that the crossover gets a digital driver's display. The 12.3 inch screen can be customised to show its information in different ways, with the graphics altering based on the driving mode selected. Sport mode can be accessed through a button mounted on the steering wheel, and this sharpens the electric power steering system and throttle response while opening up valves in the exhaust so that it sounds at its rudest. There's also a full track mode which disables the traction control and eases the strength of the stability program. The ST suspension setup is similar to the Fiesta's, but has to take into account the extra weight and height, so the rear torsion bar is 40% stiffer. That makes it 50% stiffer than the standard Puma, while the steering rack is 25% quicker too. Buyers looking to maximise traction can go for an optional mechanical limited slip differential, which works alongside a torque vectoring system which nips the inside brakes to cling onto a tight line through the corners. The Puma's inflated size means that it can't quite match the Fiesta ST in a straight line, the 62 dash takes 4 tenths longer, but it's still a hot hatch worthy 6.7 seconds. Top speed is 137 miles an hour, and Ford expects the Puma to hit about 47 miles to the gallon when official test figures are confirmed. So then, the Ford Puma ST. If this thing is even half as good to drive as the Fiesta ST, then we are really looking forward to having a go in it. And we'll be among the first to try it, so make sure you subscribe to the Auto Express channel to find out what it's really like. If you enjoyed this video, please like it and share it. And if you haven't already, subscribe to the Auto Express channel. Click on the video windows to watch our review of the regular Ford Puma and the Fiesta ST track battle.